Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, C2 at DVS, and this video channel is kindly sponsored by Toshiba, world-class storage solutions. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, if you haven't spotted it already, this is a brand new partnership that DVS are really excited to bring to you. We've been working on this for many months in the background. We're really impressed with the range they offer, and the support they offer, and their quality of product. Now, this company, if you haven't guessed already, is... Yep, you guessed it, Suprema. Not the clothing manufacturer, although they're another brilliant brand that we'd like to work with. Suprema actually make world-class access control products. Whether it's their famous face station units for facial recognition, whether it's an ACU unit. So this here is an access control unit. Color coded for your convenience. So they've got the nice uh, access control enclosure unit, um, sits on the network, four, four readers, or four door controller, sorry. We've got the bio-entry unit, so fingerprint procs. This is what they're really famous for pre-lockdown was their face stations and their biometrics. Very, very good biometrics, bi biometric systems. Uh, if you don't know Supreme Ra, Google them. Korean company, they make very, very good products. This really exciting product, the XPass uh, network readers. So this can sit on the network, it can use a uh, card, but you can also use your mobile phone using the AirFob technology. So your mobile phone then becomes the card. So in this day and age, uh, this is becoming a much more popular solution where you can issue a card with credentials via the AirFob system. That then talks to this reader and then gives you access or not. And then again, things like the USB uh, fingerprint enrollment readers, etc. Now they do make their own software, so they have the BioStar software, which I'm gonna give you a little bit of an overview on there. But the great thing with Suprema is their third party integration. So if you're, you know, like Milestone, for instance, we sell the NX Witness, they've got an integration with that. They've got like Cathexis integrations. You know, a lot of the VMSs, the, the sort of the, the big, largely used VMSs out there, they have that um, bolt-in, which allows you to use this product range outside of its own product range, if that makes any sense to you guys. Uh, again, if you want to use their own software, the BioStar software, then we can provide the BioStar software, and it does give a nice simple interface, um, but again, a lot of people choose to use this with uh, their third-party VMS, so you get all the events from the CCTV, intruder alarms, fire, etc. So it becomes one integrated solution. But again, it can be used with their software. Uh, lots and lots of development going on in the background, so loads of new products they're bringing to market. So they've got the thermal um, temperature screen and access control product now for the you know face recognition terminal. Time and attendance, they're really good at that, um, and that's become really popular over lockdown. And you've probably seen these guys mentioned several times during the several lockdowns that we've had here in Wales and. and in the UK and the time and attendance solutions they offer again class leading so really exciting so I'm gonna power some of these products up and we'll take a look at the BioStar software to give you a bit of a feel for it uh, any questions you can speak to your famed DVS sales uh, also Supreme themselves so with a face station outside of the box there really nice compact unit so it's got the LCD screen the dual camera technology and the thermal one has got a thermal screening product on there a template to mount it on it's got the all the connections are in the back so your alarm inputs outputs door releases etc so that would sit on the wall you walk up to it and, and then obviously scan your face and if you're allowed in you're allowed in the good thing with this technology it, not only is it really well made it's really nice looking so very modern look to this um, but the face recognition side of it I found to be very very um, accurate and stable so really excited about that and there are many products in their range you can take a look at their website there's a lot of different reader types so the x 2 reader big fly lead on the back with the connections for the door etc plus your network connection there um, a simple back plate that you can mount it onto a wall or a back box. Really nice looking readers, the, that glows blue when it's powered up. And again, you can use a card or your mobile phone on this particular reader. So again, really exciting. We think that's gonna be a very popular product. We've got the BioEntry W2, so the fingerprint reader. And again, on the back planes, they come with the manuals, but you can see the color codes on each of the back planes, all the cable cores are color coded, so you know exactly what they're for. Plug-in connectors, plus the network connector, um, reset button on the back. Again, that glows. It's got a proc reader built in with the fingerprint in there. Not many people are tending to choose fingerprint only technology at this current time. Um, you know, obviously with the 
coronavirus uh, less contacted better so not so popular right now but they were very very popular and then moving forward once we get over this um, I think that'll go back to being a really popular one along with the face recognition and the air fob and then we've got the ACU here which we're able to put online nicely um, lights up and really easy to work with what I like with this ACU panel got all the color coded stickers on there and how to wire it up really simple uh, color coded and uh, actually uh, terminals are designated and you've got a lot of space to dress cables in here what I found with a lot of the access control systems on the market they don't really have the space so you've got the self-contained PSU which you power up battery with a strap on there there so you can put the strap around the battery and um, make your own joke um, but also a lot of room to dress the cables in which I feel is really important in this day and age where you've got a lot of cabling whether it's an old legacy system you're swapping over or a new one and you can put this on the network you know near a cluster of doors or in a centralized location some choose to put these in a centralized location in a room so they're all in the same room with a UPS backup but what I find is it's really important to have that space to be able to dress your cables in neatly and to do a really nice effective job there's nothing worse than going to a job on a service call and having nothing labeled everything's like a spider's web in there we've all been there so again they've addressed that by giving you a nice bigger panel to do it with a tamper switch and a screw on the front and you can see the branding's quite nice there so if you're into like your suprema clothing like i am then uh you'll like that logo so hopefully you get a nice overview of the range i'm going to transfer you we'll power some of these devices up transfer you over to the pc just to give you a bit of an more of an overview of their range and then show you a, or touch on the biostar software so stay tuned while i transfer you over okay so before we quickly log into the biostar configuration i want to show you the air for airfob portal so the airfob portal is the supreme management for the airfob portal so basically i log into my airfob portal i'd have all my users um, assigned there so i can click add user give them the id name department title etc uh, email add card what i'm going to do is check on one i've already added so you've got your registered devices down here so they're my devices that i've got online that support this technology so the um, xpass 2 controller and that airfob patch i already mentioned earlier you've got your monitoring um, you've got uh, audit trail and settings and then user template, card template, credential settings, admin site, license, etc. So under users, if I just quickly go in and show you, so I can reissue or delete a card here. So if I reissue it, it sends an email that's associated with that card to that person that can download that card credential into the AirFob patch, which is on the phone here, which I've already done, which I'll transfer you over and show you shortly. But basically, if I click on myself, you can see name, email, there's my card template that will be issued within the app. And there's my card ID, uh, receive it by email method, click save, and then that's notified me. On the email, I click um, accept the card, and then that would add the card to my template. So it's a very simple process, centralized AirFob portal management gives it that nice um, interface, centralized management, and you can turn any reader into an airfob um, technically. So that's that. If I go back to the Biostar 2 configuration, now I have a server with this Biostar 2 um, software installed, but I'm just web browsing into it off this PC. Um, very simple to do, so I'm gonna log in. So the first thing you'll notice is when you log in, you go to a dashboard and it gives you an overview of the system. Now this has been running for months and months and months. Um, you know for our testing period but again you get all of the overview on the dashboard year month week so pretty simple pretty straightforward software it's quite intuitive you can web browse it or you can actually access it off site uh, if you click on ports they're the default ports and you can change them as required if you click on settings or about that will give you your current um, uh, versions of software etc and your licensing and then you click on help and it gives you a full manual who knew but under settings there, it goes to the main interface. So that's all of the options you can click on to set. But on the left-hand side, it's the sort of the go-to options that helps us configure a system. So if I go to dashboard, is the first one we just see is an overview of the system. User. These are all the users that I've got added into the system already. So I've created a DVSHQ. Um, and then under all users, there's five users. Under DVSHQ, there's one person, which is me. And I can click on that one person there. And you can see I've got my face enrolled, uh, picture my face, and I use the face recognition enrollment unit to add my face to it. Um, it's a really good process. It asks you to do it three times. You get a better profile of the face. But you can put your start and end times in there. What group do they belong to? Access group, email, mobile, access group, 
password for the user, pin code if they're using it. Now authentication mode is either device default, so the device default is whatever that device supports, so it could be face rec, but you can actually force it per person. So if I wanted myself to turn that on, I can have fingerprint, face, card, and mobile. So I need to authenticate with all those different authentication types to get through that door. So it's per person or per the device. It depends how complicated or how secure you really want to make this. So I'm going to uh, turn that back to default mode. And the security level is the device default. Now I've already issued a face. So card history, reissue my face and mobile credential. And then card history, click on card history, mobile credential is already assigned. Pretty straightforward. I, again, I've already took, taken my face, but I could edit that and scrap it and redo another. But we're going to leave that um, taken because I've already done that. Okay, so with the AirFob itself, so I've loaded the AirFob um, app. So it's simple. You can see there, that's the card design that I made in the AirFob portal. Um, I have an AirFob reader here. You can see, um, hopefully, in the thing, it's just powered up. There's a nice blue symbol there. So I'm going to take my phone, um, simply press and hold it and you can see no contact so you can see there's the reader um blue and it's gone to door locked and here's my card which is using that technology to talk to it again i can either move my phone in front of it so within the distance it'll open the door so again just wait for that to lock looks like i can move and present it over and it does that wait for it to lock or I can press and hold the app and the card itself. I just press and hold it. It transmits it um, when I'm in range to that reader. So it's really, really powerful. I love it, to be honest. Really, really powerful. And if you have more cards, you can cycle through them. So it's nice and simple to use. Okay, so here's the actual um, face rec. You know, I'm going to put that on the table there. I'm going to play the real-time event log and I'm going to put my face on there. Time attendance in. So you can see there, straight away it comes through. What you've also seen is, well, you can see that all of it here. So door unlocked authentication, door locked, unlock, door locked. So if you click on the, you can actually um, export all these later on. But I actually set that up for time and attendance. So now I'm clocked as in. So if I go to the face again, clock myself as out, and now I'm out. So it's very, very simple to use and very, very effective as a system. Okay, so if you go to the Suprema website, you can have a quick look at what they actually offer. You can see the platform, the different platform types there. So you can see biometric readers, um, the RF mobile readers, intelligent controllers, open platform stuff, peripherals, and discontinued products. So if you look at the biometric readers and click on go, so you can see you can start filtering it down really straightforward. They make a lot of product. Um, we've sort of picked the best of the product range, which we think are good will sell in the UK, but we'll continue, continually evaluate that. So you've got the Fusion Multimodal Terminal, the Face Stations, which I got here, which I showed you, the Compact, the BioStation A2, the Outdoor Fingerprint Terminal, IP Fingerprint Terminal. And you can see different readers, Outdoor Fingerprint Terminal and Compact Fingerprint Terminal. Then you go to RF Readers, and you can see the different uh, type of reader. So we got the AirFob patch. That's a really interesting product. That basically turns an existing reader into an AirFob reader. So you can use, I just threw my iPhone on the floor, so don't worry about that. Um, you can stick this onto an existing card reader. So whether it's um, you know, a different brand, etc., and then bring that with the AirFob technology into a centralized um, contactless solution. So that's a really interesting offering that we can potentially look at. So we've got the XPass 2, XPass S2, which it looks really, really nice, really cutting edge, and the XPass D2, so you, could, you know, can be used outdoors as well. Intelligent controllers, you've got the uh, enclosure, which you saw on the video, you've got the core station, so and you've got it as a, as a kit. Um, it's a complete kit, but if you look at the core station here, you can see it's designed, um, sits on the network, gets powered. If you buy the enclosure, it's got the power supply in there, it's got a relay fitted for the alarm, and basically um, can power the doors as well from that PSU that's included. And you've got the different relays for the doors, supervised inputs, nicely color-coded. It's a really nicely designed and well-built unit with a lot of space um, to dress those cables in like I've already discussed. Against every product, you've got the features, You've got the uh, video com combined in there, configuration, shows you how it works, basically, specifications. You've got the peripherals, and you've got the download for the latest firmware for that product, warranty, 
the setup manager images and even the brochure and then relate your products to it so everything is in one place really simple to navigate and find you've got the io units that can go on the back of it sit on the network as well um, so again, a lot, of, a lot of different product type and, you know, depending on your solution. But if I go back to the products, it's just open platform and you've got the Novus and Om, 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 Omnis uh, units. You've got time and attendance, you've got peripherals. So you've got your uh, thermal camera bolt on, your secure module, output modules, and then the door modules. So lots of different products, again, depending on what your application or, you know, job installation will require will depend on what you know you're going to look at so that's the website everything's in there really nicely designed so you can go and check that out at your own leisure hopefully this has given you a nice insight into what we can do and sort of the range if you've got any questions ask dvs at dvs.co.uk ask suprema um, or speak to your dvs sales specialist we're really really excited about this partnership so stay tuned for some more how-to videos around it stay safe guys bye